Month 3 in the Time of the Eternal, Month 6, Day 3, of 2023. In dreams, I saw many people who struggled to have a fluid economy at all cost. To achieve this, they did everything in their power, regardless of whether it was legal or not before God. I saw that they were people who were knowledgeable of the word. But just that, knowledgeable. They did not live it. Each attempt, at first, worked for them, but then, everything vanished. They suffered a lot and their unhappiness was evident. I approached them, I saw them in their houses, in their beds, well covered, but unhappy. I saw that in the mornings, when they got up and wanted to eat, there was very little on their table. And, these, refused to eat it, because in their minds the delicacies of the past were embodied. I observed their day, struggling for the economic, while their land was full of grass, and the seed, by their hand, did not fall on it. They proclaimed, God says that he cares for the birds and gives them sustenance. Likewise he must be with us. They do not sow, nor do they reap, and they eat, how much more do we humans? So why is there only grass? Refusing to sow the land, their lamentation was daily and constant. To these it is said, look at the ant, O oh lazy one. Those who have not been diligent in obeying the divine mandate to obtain food from the earth with their own hands, their negligence will bring them misfortune. The weakness will come upon them, and the disease will not wait. And it will only be their own fault. There is no bad land, declares the Eternal, rather, bad farmers. He calls us to till his land and he will show us, if we are diligent, step by step, what to do. Some more difficult than others. This, in his divine wisdom, so that clinging to him we know how to work all terrain, and, under his wisdom, make it cultivable. Many dare to go and bring the gospel to others, without even eating the fruit of their hands. I was let to know that there are still many people who exercise the supposed faith of word, but their works are dead. To, such, the Eternal will say, Depart from me, you evildoers. These, who refuse to, take advantage of, the opportunity of self-sustenance instructed by God, the blessing will depart from them, and the lie that, it can't be done, will always be in their mouths. Unfortunately, these will be invested by the first plague. They are bad workers that put in opprobrium the cause of the eternal giving or before others pity, since, their bodies are weak due to poor nutrition the poor nutrition due to their indolent life. Others sow according to their tastes and not according to what is given in the region. And they fight and fight so that what they sow grows, which is what they like, but without success. Others, what is native to the place in abundance, do not take advantage of it because it is not to their liking. Others have so much idle time. And they use it, to ponder and assume wrong, about, why others do it, but, they don't want to do their duty. Others, because they are indolent, presumptuous and negligent, they seek disgrace and then they want others to become slaves to them in their misfortune. Others simply fold their arms and, giving pitying to everyone, fight to live of everything, and everyone. All these forms of indolence are recorded in the Book of Memories. For, the one who having what to do does not do it, will be guilty of judgment. Others go further in their prepotency. They fight to fulfill the ritual in front of everyone, but their heart does not pass the divine test, because their motives are not pure before God. Others feel so good before God. They see other people's defects, outside of themselves. They believe they deserve the favor of God and all his blessings, moreover, this crazy presumption comes from an arrogant heart full of Pharisaism and legalism, is only the product of their own, deceitful and unbalanced mind. From this mind, God is outside. This presumption reaches all areas from the simplest to the most abundant. Many, dare to take the emblems of the Eternal unworthily with a thought, God understands. And they get conform, and numb their senses. For these it is easy, because, if in little they are unfaithful in much, also. And they boldly declare themselves better than their neighbor and worthy of the mercies of the Eternal. These dig their disgrace and, many times, their own grave. These, sickness, weakness and death will be in front of them, and in them. In the solemn times of the Eternal, 
he passes review over his people. He approaches to see our heart, if it is according to his or not. We wash our hands to touch the sacred emblems, moreover, the mind and the heart are full of resentments and prevarications. Haughty in their own opinion, to the point that they question the words and operations of the Eternal. These, like the people of Israel will be, like those who were left in the desert and did not see, not even close, the promised earthly Canaan. To these, I urge them to ask themselves, did God know that Achan had taken the Babylonian garment and the wedge of gold? So, why didn't the Almighty warn Joshua about this when he sent his small army over the city of Ai, where many perished because of the anathema? That anathema, that Achan hid in his tent. Why, after the misfortune, then, God let Joshua know what was happening and gave him the operation to solve the problem? Did God fail? Did Joshua fail? Not in any way. This was in order to sift the people, to remove from the middle what was not pure and to make everyone see that he is not oblivious to what happens in his people. Now, after the sifting, like others, before, for rebellion and presumption, God gave them the order to advance. And, like this, they were victorious, victory after victory in Christ Jesus. The one who stops to ponder and question God, and whom he has sent to direct his people, I refer to them to put close attention, notice this and other, examples, more that appear in the holy book. Cavillations, false testimony, are never a safe road, and whoever ventures to walk through it will fall irremissibly. When the Hebrews, on their way through the desert, were joined by people like Rahab and her family, they instructed them from the beginning. They didn't give them the last first, but they were led from the beginning forward, at a steady pace. Many make the mistake of giving babies food and, in the first sifting, these are left behind. When someone knows and asks about our faith, we must let them know that God has a road and that it must be traveled as it is, as he stipulated. God grant that we can understand this and that we do not fall into the traps of the enemy. That we reject everything that the enemy puts in our minds, of having cavillations against the word of the Eternal. It is my request and prayer that it be so. May the Lord bless us.